Customer interaction management from Expert Flow allows you to provide a unified customer experience uh, if you have a Cisco Unified Contact Center Express or Enterprise. Customers can interact through, have multiple identities through which they interact with your contact center. These can be one or multiple chat identities, a phone number or multiple phone numbers, as well as none or many browsers. If the customer interacts through any one of those identities, uh, these sessions will be coordinated and routed to the same agent that is interacting with the customer through the primary channel, typically voice or chat. It is possible for agents and customers to work concurrently both on a voice session as well as in a chat session and for the agent to see what exactly the customer is doing at a given moment on the website for one of the browsers that is associated with that particular browser identity. Customer interactions captures all identities of a customer and whenever that customer interacts with one of those identities with your contact center, these activities are routed to the agent. It also stores customer profiles such as account numbers, addresses and similar information that you might need in order to have a screen pop to a pop to the call center agent. So an agent can initiate, for example, or a customer can initiate a chat session with the customer and along with that chat session, the agent can see which websites a customer is visiting, see his geolocation, or see, for example, uh, whether the customer entered the password correctly on the website without actually seeing the password. In between the customer and the agent, you might have automated instances such as an IVR, a chatbot, or a web server that analyzes the information <coughs> that the customer sends uh, to uh, the contact center. The agent can then also so ask a supervisor or second agent to come into that, join that call, and uh, support the, uh, the customer during that session. So you might have a conference between customer, chatbot, agent and supervisor, for example. This is an example of how things look like from uh, if you use chat only, for example. A customer can interact with any chat channel with a chatbot sitting in between the customer and the agent, and those two will have a chat session to start off with. At some point, it might be required to integrate an agent. So this is a view of a call center agent here. Here you see that this agent is managing seven chat sessions with seven different customers at the same time. Here is the chat interaction and call interaction history with that customer over any channel in the past. Here you see chat suggestions as provided by the chatbot to that particular chat session. And here he can overwrite the suggested answer of the chatbot manually. On the right side, the agent can see the customer profile along with the customer identities. If you see a color code here for each particular chat session. So red means that the chatbot has a very low confidence score for that particular chat session, meaning that the agent has to intervene. Green means the chatbot has a very high confidence goal and that he, he's able to manage the conversation on his own. And yellow means that the confidence score of the chatbot is so so la la. And the agent could leave the chatbot do its own job, but it might be that that chat conversation will then degrade. And uh, you will also see a timer running down at the uh, arrow here. Uh, if the time is up, the answer, the suggested answer of the chatbot will automatically be sent to the customer. If the agent jumps into one particular chat session, he sees the suggested answers of the chatbot top, top to bottom, or as I said, you can insert in a manual answer. The agent can from this interface also uh, see which uh, website visits the customer is doing here in the interaction history. And he can also start a phone call to that customer from the media tour toolbar. If the whole thing is embedded within a call center, uh, the agent will see a finesse environment uh, where he can basically log in at the agent states and routing mechanism is completely integrated with Cisco Contact Center Enterprise or Express. This interface can also be changed, for example, with a CRM. So if you want to embed this within Microsoft Dynamics, for example, or Oracle Siebel or another uh, CRM solution, we can embed this chat gadget within that particular tool and still interconnect for routing and statistics and reports with your Cisco contact center.
The advantage of this hybrid chat approach here is that instead of having a traditional handoff from a chatbot to a human, uh, the chatbot will continuously remain in the chat conversation, picking up any piece of conversation that is of transactional standards uh, scenario, thereby offloading the agent for anything that is a standard situation. The agent then has to spend much less time manually chatting with the customer than if he is supported by a chatbot and can thereby handle many more chat conversation in parallel at the same time. Let's see what happens to how this actually works from a messaging perspective. We capture individual activities from a customer. This can be spoken sentences, so we do silence detection. This can be individual chat messages. These can be text documents, and it can be website activities. Those activities can be analyzed by AI engines or IVR solutions. This can be a voice bot, it can be a chat bot, it can include natural language understanding, speech recognition, and it can include a web server. So these are, these are a series of AI engines that you can employ. Those AI engines will extract intense entities, emotions, biometric information, and based on that information, they will suggest an action that the agent should send back to the customer, or they will handle the conversations on their own if it is a chatbot, for example. This is another way. Now, this was left to right, customer on the left, agent to the right. Let's see uh, the same thing turned 90 degrees. Here is the customer, the customer's activities through a journey, and here is what the agent does in response. For example, here we have voice call. Individual sentences are transcribed using a spe uh, speech recognition engine, such as Nuance, Python, Google Di uh, Speech Recognition, or Sestec, or similar engines. Text, written text, can be scanned and analyzed by a character recognition engine. And at this layer here, you have text. This text can be then interpreted by a layer of natural language understanding. And again, we are open to many NLU engines which then extract intents and entities at this layer here. And from this layer here, you can then determine what would be the next appropriate step in that particular stage of the customer journey. And the next appropriate step could be a knowledge base article that you display to the agent. It can be that you want to involve a supervisor because there are certain emotions being exchanged during the conversation. It can be an identity that is being confirmed to the agent that can now do, start doing certain things. It can be a message that suggests that the chatbot suggests that it sends out or that the agent can approve, or it can be a text element that the agent can embed within an email that he's going to send. And at the la last layer here, you see media routing to the contact center agent and the agent contact center desktop. So you'll have a customer journey, customer doing an inbound call, customer doing a chat session, customer having a visual IVR session, which is a call plus chat, customer receiving several outbound call attempts during an outbound call campaign or sending a scanned letter. And in response, we see what the agent is doing uh, as a response to those customer activities. Now, what we can do is if we know what the agent did as an activity as a result of what the customer did, we can do, use this as tagging data for the AI engines that run in between those gray AI engines. These gray artificial en intelligence engines require tagged data in order to be able to predict what would be the next appropriate agent uh, action uh, at a particular stage of the customer journey. So by storing the activities of both the customer and the agent in a normated way, we are able to provide trade uh, tagged data, which is actually the gold for goal gold standard for artificial intelligence and then you can train basically any AI engine of your choosing. Expertflow does not provide any AI engine but works with major AI providers such as IBM Watson, Google Dialogflow, Microsoft Bot Frameworks, Spacey, uh, Raza uh, and other uh, engines. The idea here is that instead of having a big bang chatbot project you can just simply start to talk human to human and you can start, start chatting human to human. You can then start gradually introducing certain automated elements such as a human to a chatbot to an agent and you can then start inserting questions or answers during conversations to the agent 
And then gradually you can start automating certain pieces of the conversation as you move along. So this allows you to introduce AI technologies very gradually at your pace over months and years while at always having uh, as a baseline human-to-human -human interaction. In parallel to those chat activities or in parallel to a phone call, we can monitor what a customer is doing on your website using a technology called tag management. This is not something that ExpertFlow provides. This is a, a website standard, tag management. And with tag management, you can basically observe customer website behavior. You can detect certain events. For example, did the customer enter his password correctly? Which pages did he visit? What navigation history does he have? And what is his geolocation? This type of information can be sent to the customer in real time while he is interacting with the contact center agent here. You can also start from an existing website session where the agent sees what the customer is doing, a web RTC, video and voice and screen share session. So WebRTC is a free open source technology that is running on all major browsers directly between the customer and the agent. So if you want, you can start a voice video screen share session on top of an existing website activity. So to summarize, ExpertFlow customer interaction allows you to group any or to uh, group any interaction that the customer does over any channel and forward those to the agent and basically enrich your customer experience so that it's no longer one media at a time only, but multiple media at the same time and being supported by AI engines. Thanks you for listening.